Hello everybody and welcome back to Starsick. I'm happy you could join me once again. Uh, welcome back to Outcast Studios. I'm the Drifter, not that you don't already know that if you're clicking on to, like, what is this, episode 6 of this series? In the last episode, uh, I finished off, I believe, um, is it fixing up the cannon or setting off the cannon or whatever to, um, complete, you know, building my base. Uh, and good news, the good news is, it's actually done completely now. The base is basically finished. Um, there are a few minor tweaks that I'm gonna make. Um, I also obviously have to do the interior at some point. Um, but I actually, today's, today's session, today's episode, however I'm gonna cut it up in editing, is gonna work a bit differently than normal. Because where normally I just sort of log on, start recording, and try and figure out something to do uh, as the episode's running, I decided that before today's uh, session, I'd actually mark out a list of things that I wanted to get done um, before the end of the session. Uh, and while this is definitely on that list, it's not actually the first thing that I want to get sorted. The first thing I want to get sorted is I actually want to make myself a Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. Um, because I feel like having a Swift Wolf's Rending Gale would really help with just everything in general that I want to achieve today. Um, so for those of you that don't know what a Swift Wolf's Rending Gale is, and I'm just going to say Swift Ring from this point forwards because it's less of a mouthful. Uh, it's this ring here. It's from Project E, like a lot of my favorite things are. Uh, and it basically just allows me to fly as long as I have an abundance of EMC on hand. Which, um, if you watch the main series, you would know I do. Because I have what is known as a Klein Star. So if we teleport over to the Shit Shack really quick, and we hop over here, you'll see I have, uh... Moved it, apparently, um, <laughs> since I last, uh, put it down, because it's supposed to be right there, but I... Can't remember where I put it. There it is. Right, I have my client star here, which is basically uh, a way of storing EMC. It's only the first model, but it should be enough for what I want to achieve. So to make a Swift Wolf's Rending Gale or a Swift Ring, I'm going to need some dark matter, some feathers or golden feathers, but you know, I'd rather just use normal feathers because why would I use golden feathers? Uh, and an iron band, which is lava uh, surrounded by iron, which is probably the easiest part of this. Because to make dark matter, you need uh, a tenalis fuel and a diamond block. And to make a tenalis fuel, you need mobius fuel. And to make mobius fuel, you need alchemical coal. And to make alchemical coal, you need regular coal and a philosopher's stone. Now, luckily, because I, as you can obviously tell, me and Ruby were working on some Project E stuff in the main series, I actually do have everything I need to craft this. So if we hop over to the chest room, uh, let, let me just grab my philosopher's stone from uh, this chest. Well, you absolutely terrified me, good sir. Um, <laughs> what are you doing in my base? Um, I, 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 that genuinely scared me. Um, I'm just gonna leave you be, uh, because, I mean, it doesn't look like you're much of a threat, to be honest, but I'm just gonna leave you be. Um, I need to grab some coal. I have 48 coal in my inventory, never mind. Let's quickly, uh, take the client star out of here. Uh, let's, we can throw the rotten flesh on the floor. I want to grab the coal, put it up here, and I want to just dupe as much coal as I can. Let's give it some, let's give it some gold. Can you hear that, by the way? Uh, I have new ambient sounds. I'm not sure if they're too loud or not, so, you know, make sure to let me know down in the comments. But, um, the, the usual ambient sound mod that I like isn't updated past 112, so I'm, I'm trying this one out. I don't remember its name, but so far it's been nice. Where are my dimensional shards, actually? Because dimensional shards, I know for a fact, are extremely powerful when it comes to EMC. Let me just borrow a couple of these, and let's just keep one, and then chuck the rest in there. There we go. That's definitely going to provide us with enough stuff. This is 
hopefully going to be enough coal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just emptying it out and converting it uh, into... Uh, uh, what is it called? Alchemical coal, and then I'm going to convert the alchemical coal into Mobius fuel, and the Mobius fuel into Aeternalis fuel. That's, uh, a lot of the things in this mod you'll come to find are very much mouthfuls. Right, that's that's definitely enough coal. What I'm going to do now is drop the Aeternalis fuel up here and start... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's definitely enough Aeternalis fuel. Um, that's a lot more than I was expecting, actually. Um, so the next step is we need diamond blocks. So let's quickly look for our diamonds. Because I know we've got an abundance of diamonds somewhere. I say as I locate two singular diamonds. But that's okay, because we have this. So let's just drop this on here. There we go. That's, uh, we need 9, 18, 27, 36. We need 36 diamonds, and we currently have 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, t okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can speed this up slightly. Um, let's drop the other stack of coal in here. I'm sure we can sacrifice a couple of Aeternalis fuels, right? Yeah, here we go. It's about one per thing, so, four, five, there we go. That's one more than we need, actually. Um, so that works in our favor. So let's quickly convert these into diamond blocks. There we go. Uh, and then let's turn these into dark matter. There we go. Three and four. So that's four dark matter. Uh, and now, hey, we've got an achievement. Look at that. The next thing we need are the feathers. Now, I think we do just have several feathers lying around. Um, but if not... It shouldn't be too much of a hassle to go out and just kill a couple of chickens very quickly. I guess I'm gonna have to harvest some from Clucky. Um, if Clucky is still here. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. I hope she's okay. Then again, if I do find her, she's not going to be, so... <laughs> I'm not sure why I would hope for that, to be honest. Um... But no, from the looks of it, there's no Clucky. Hmm. Uh, where would I have better odds of animals spawning? It would, it, it'd be in this biome, right? Eh, hey, chicky, 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 chicky. Eh, hey, Clucky, 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 Clucky. Muck, 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 muck. Muck, 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 muck. Muck, 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 muck. I'm not sure why I thought that would work. Definitely not the animal I'm looking for. Oh, for Christ's sake. Have at the scallywag. Yeah, chicky, 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 chicken. Yeah, ch chicken! Hey there, buddy. Sorry, but I needed your feather. Um, let's get rid of the arrows. Right, it doesn't matter that we've only got one, because, you know, we have the condenser, so we can just... Oh, aren't you looking all nice and dapper in your obsidian armor? Jesus Christ. Right, okay. As I was saying, because we have the condenser, uh, we don't really need to go out of our way to get any more than one. We can just, you know, condense it. That's that's kind of the whole point. Okay, yeah, it's it's still it's still collecting some diamond energy. So let's just drop in. I don't want to waste all of the diamonds on a single feather. There Oh, that's more than enough. Okay. <laughs> that's far too many. Uh oh, I apparently left eight and Alice fuel in here. Okay. Um, right, the next step is dark matter, dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. Feather, 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 feather. And the last step is I need the iron band, which is lava and an iron... I was going to say an iron bucket then, but it's not. It's it's iron and a lava bucket. Um, that does beg the question, what am I going to do with the liquid starlight? That looks beautiful. And if we step in it, it gives us night vision. Well, it, it usually does. It, it has to be nighttime, but, you know. Pretty fountain. There we go. Pretty fountain. Anyway, let's hop back over to the shit shack, uh, and then let's uh, grab some lava from our reserve... Um, what's it called again? Oh, our smeltery... <laughs> Got my words mixed up then. Our smeltery reserve. And let's actually, while we're here... Since we need iron anyway, let's drop the iron in the smeltery. Uh, let's... Actually, I need you on me, don't... 
Actually, no, I don't. What am I talking about? I don't actually need any of this marble on me anymore because... If you could quiet down, please, birdies. Uh, we finished the base, basically. It, it keeps blowing my mind that I can actually say that, you know, the base is finished now, but it is. Uh, so let's quickly, let's just pour out a block, because even though it'll leave us with one extra, it's just the quicker alternative than pouring eight individual ingots out. Let's turn this into ingots. Let's turn the ingots into a iron band, which actually gives us our bucket back, which is nice. And if we put the iron band in the crafting table, there we have it. We have our Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, which, if I'm remembering correctly, should allow me to... Hey! Check it out! We can fly! Oh, this is great. This is going to help so much when it comes to the next thing that I have planned. But I do want to see how much EMC this takes up. We have 74,200... No. No, that's the wrong number. I'm an idiot. We have 49,692. Huh. It doesn't appear to be using... Oh! Well, isn't that nice? It's only a one-time use. I think. Yeah, it just takes a small amount of EMC whenever you first turn it on, and then it doesn't drain it further. Oh, 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 no, it does, but it works in multiples of 64. Right, okay, that, that makes a bit more sense. But we shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. So, yeah, okay, we've got, we've got ourselves a Swift Wolf Ring. This is brilliant. Okay, so the next step uh, that I want to take in uh, this series is I want to put the mountain back. And by that, I mean uh, the, the schematic cannon basically cut away at the mountain to place this thing down. Because it doesn't understand the concept of uh, just placing blocks uh, and replacing only the blocks that need replacing, if that makes sense. Um, so it just dug a hole into the mountain. And it's very unsightly. I mean, don't get me wrong, this the entire surrounding area is very unsightly. And we will be fixing that. Um, but I want to put this back. And to do that, I need to collect myself a ton of sand. Because while I have my double chest over there, I don't think it's going to be enough. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to take a page out of Green's book here. And I'm going to time lapse the process. Because, ironically, I, I, I found a, a, a love of time lapsing recently. And I'm not sure where it came from. And it's something that I want to try at least once. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to time lapse me putting the mountain back. Um, so I, I don't really know how to do a smooth transition to this yet. Let's, let's jump to the time lapse, guys. Woo!
And we're back! Okay, I hope you enjoyed, like, I hope you all enjoyed watching that. That was, um, that was certainly a lot of work. Uh, it's, it's by no means a finished mountain, it's by no means a complete mountain, but it is a start. We, we have something that we can work from. Now, obviously, it's not going to stay, you know, perfect circles for the entire time as much as I would like that, because that doesn't look natural. I mean, look around. None of this is, like, perfectly circular. It will be deformed uh, once we have got all of the circles. There'll be details added and stuff. But right now, this is just to get a general shape, almost like a, a height map, in a sense. I, I didn't do as much work around here than I, as I did around there, but uh, I was running short on time for the time lapse because, um... I wanted to set myself a, a time limit, so to, so to speak, so that I don't spend the entire night sort of building it, so that I don't spend uh, the entire episode as nothing but one big time lapse. Uh, so, that that's why. Uh, we will revisit this in the next episode or the next session. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm cutting this up yet. Uh, but for now, I think we can leave this... Uh, and move on to the last thing that I wanted to do. I want to create this, uh, the structure that that the Starlight Crafting Altar requires in order for, uh, in order for, for, you know, it to actually work. And I have all of the materials, it's just a matter of, you know, placing them in the right area. Uh, these are all the things that I had left over, um, from finishing this build, uh, because what, what I ended up doing is the, the books over there, but I basically just looked through it and tried to match the missing blocks to what I didn't have, uh, and then I just EMC'd a bunch of it and threw it in, and it worked, so that's that. Uh, but I have all of the things I need, or at least I should do, in here, so let's grab the sooty marble. There we go. Let's take care of you, because you have been an excellent food source these past couple of hours. Uh, right, there we go. I'll pick that up later. I need 21 sooty marble, and if we look at the bottom, that's a 3x3, three three. so if we take out this... Oh, hello! Oh my! <laughs> I didn't realize that was under there. Um, hold on a second, let me quickly just... I don't want to set off the creeper by accident, because that would be catastrophic, because if we break this starlight table, that means we're going to have to make another one. And I don't know about you, but I don't fancy doing that to myself. So let's just quickly hop up here. Ideally, I should light that up, but I just can't be bothered. Right, okay, Astral Tome. It's... is it 3x3? Three three? I think it's 3x3. Three three. No. I, it, yes? Yes. Okay, that... That is three by three. Okay, right. So let's 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 put these blocks down like this. There we go. And then it's uh, three to the corners. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one, this one, and this one. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's like playing red light, green light with the with the bloody creepers. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we just put the sooty marble like this. There we go. I don't know what caused that sound, but that was terrifying. Okay, um... There we go, that's, uh, that's the sooty marble in place. Next up, we need this chiseled marble in the corners, so let's grab some of that really quick. Do I not have chiseled marble? I mean, there's chiseled marble here. But I don't want to take that, so now that I have the power of flight, and I'm not constrained to the the mortal plane of, you know, the floor, I can just... Oh, I already did that. Okay, plan B. We're gonna go in the opposite direction, because I'm 99% sure there's, like, a, another uh, astral structure over here that I can pillage. Or at least, I hope there is. If, if I keep going in this direction long enough, I'll find one, eventually. It's just a matter of time. And let's check on my client star, actually. Both my ring and my client star are missing. Um. Oh! Oh, okay. There, is, there are slots for it. I. Oh! I didn't realize. Oh, Ash Clever. I love that. that. That didn't used to be a thing. Okay, my client star is on half things, so I do still have quite a bit of time with that. And my ring is safely looked after there. I completely 
didn't realize that my ring had gone missing. <laughs> I was very concerned for a second there. Um, I did see a village over this direction render in real quick. Here we are. So let's hop by here, see if there's an astral thing nearby. You know, let's make a mark of this one. Jägermeyers, there we go. Uh, is there an astral temple over here? Come on. There we go. I knew there'd be one around here somewhere. Alright, let's grab these. There we go. That's one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Perfect amount. Great. Okay, and now we can just fly back and we can use my multiple death markers as a sign of where our base is. Oh! Yes, it's night time. Oh, you- that is such a strong concentration of fossic energy! What? Oh, and it was- No! This one here is- Oh, that's so disappointing! <laughs> There's such strong concentrations of fossic energy so close to the base. If I'd have just built it right here, if I'd have just angled it this way, oh my cr- Oh, that's painful. That is unbelievably painful. Oh, well, at the very least, it's close enough that I could put something on top of the mountain when it's finished. But that... Oh, that's painful. That genuinely makes me sad. So let's put the, let's put the chiseled marble in place. So one there, then there's one here, and then there's one here... There we go, and then the last one should go here. There we go. Hello. Mine, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> I was worried for a second there. Oh, great. Where did you come from? Leave me alone. I'm trying to do space wizard stuff. Chiseled marble, chiseled marble, chiseled marble, and chiseled marble. There we go. And uh, if we check the book now... Okay, it is... Uh, Oh, I need four more. I'm going to have to EMC one of these. And then, what was it that the book said we needed? It was... Brick. We need marble br Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, for I forgot. I built the floor out of marble brick. We're fine. Okay, um... Right, all that leaves is this around the edge, and then the pillars. Now, I think we've got some pillars left over. At least we should. And there's a wolf man there. Never mind, this place is the opposite of safer. Right. Let's quickly just drop these in here. There we go, that's more than enough. Let's take that, and then let's drop these in here. And there we go, that should be enough. I hear you, don't think I don't hear you. Okay, now as I was... No more spiders? Because I heard spiders. Okay, as I was saying, now we can put the pillars in place, so let's just stack these up. It's too high. Well, I mean, it's not too high, it's too high, if you uh, get what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> and then on top of that is the chiseled stuff, so let's pop those down. There we go. And last but not least, let's finally add the finishing touches around the edge. No, let's deal with the zombie, because they apparently demand our attention more than the floor does. That's one layer. Let's grab these. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this, aren't I? There we go. And then, lastly, let's get this one out. Actually, no, there's that one to deal with as well, isn't there? Ow. Let's quickly make use of what we have left of ghostly shape to take out this bit of the floor. I see you, creeper! No, spider! Oh. <sighs> Can I not deal with you right now, please? Ow! E there we go. Now let's deal with the last bit of the floor, so let's just quickly knock this out. There we go. Go! And now we should just be able to put the last few blocks in. There we go. That should be it. Why are you still red? Oh, no. Do I have to take these out as well? Do I have to Do I have to make this a, a proper all-around-the-corner bit? 
shouldn't take too long. Let's just bust this out. Oh, no, 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 oh my Christ! There we go. Okay, the bottom bar has turned gray, which means it is an officially recognized structure. We have our astral thing, and now that I'm looking at this, I kind of want to move it one block that way. I really want to move it one block in that direction, but unfortunately that will have to wait for the next episode because I am leaving it there. Um, I'm really happy with how this session or this episode, however I'm going to cut it, turned out. I'm really happy with this uh, session, actually. Um, so yeah, make sure to leave a like down below, make sure to leave a comment as well, tell me what you thought, because I do genuinely value, value your opinions. Uh, make sure to subscribe, I think I haven't said that one yet, and also make sure to join the Discord server so that you can talk to me, you can talk to Ruby, and you can talk to everyone else in the Outcast Studios family, you know, like my kids, and, and Vision and Gabby, and all of those wonderful people. So, uh, yeah. Um, until the next episode, I'll see you later, shitlords. Bye-bye!